So, yeah. the end of the first season, pretty traumatic. Oh my god. Isabel loses a husband, loses a brother. Loses her damn mind. Yeah. 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 I think the next yeah. really cool. Come in. Oh my gosh, come in. I have to sit next to this one. Uh, yeah. Turn off we were the just, cameras. We were just talking about how fun the end of season one was. We were just talking time. about how we don't collaborate with actors ever. <laughs> wait, are, yes. am I close enough? Okay. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Show the love. Show Ding. the love. <laughs> oh. No. Oh. Okay. What's up? Well, we were talking about what an explosive, like, ending to the mm -hmm. last season. Last season. Yep. Uh, and a lot of loss. A lot of loss. Um, where are we going this season? Cool in girl. the new season, comedy. Yes. <laughs> yeah, straight to comedy. Yeah. Right to the comedy. Musicals. I was really hoping myself that we would start like a year, or two, five years later. I'm like, we can do this. We don't have to go through the whole what happens after. We can get to everything's fine now. Right. Yeah. Isabel's got a dog. She's cool. It's fine. <laughs> she had some bad stuff happen, Lily, but she's, she picked herself up. Lily has beyond crushed a very difficult storyline when you know. We're not we're not shying away from the trauma that Isabel has has gone through, and um, we put a lot on Lily's shoulders this year. We really, uh, you know, she was she was brand new to this like to television basically when we when we started. And I had only played one other alien before, <laughs> <laughs> and um, we were so proud of her. And just I, I mean, I feel I feel so lucky to be able to work with somebody who's so inspiring and and who makes me feel like. I I can challenge her with anything, and she's like, "Give me another." I'm like, "Can Hit we do me more again? Hit me again, right? More comedy." She's a pro barber for sure. I literally it began in season one, episode three, when it was like, it, "It's clear that Isabel has puked," and I was like, "I'm doing the actual." Yeah. They're like, "You don't need to." I'm like, "No, I'm doing it." Right. And that was when I think Karina was like, "Oh, so we're gonna make Isabel go through it." I'm just gonna right. barf forever. <laughs> um, no, they've given me such incredible material because. You know, Isabel has to, the only way out of it is through it for her. And uh, yeah. it was scary. I was nervous to come back. I'm like, oh my God, this is going to get bad for a second. And it does. It gets worse and it gets worse oh, no. and it gets what worse. A, and yeah. then it starts to get better. Right. I was going to say, one of my favorite things actually in the finale it gets worse, is. And then it gets sexy. Right. Yeah. It gets, yeah, it gets worse. Oh, yes. I'm kidding. It gets worse. Sexually <laughs> worse? Worse? Sex I don't know. <laughs> uh, I love actually in the finale the, the shot of you ruining that photo because I. I see a moment of strength there and so uh, that's the whole point the only way out is through and she's a tough ass woman which means we, we can press the pressure down on top of her yeah. and let her you know mm. fight her way up and thank god I mean I'm so happy for Isabel because she's constructed this whole veneer of like a perfect life and I don't think she ever had to really figure out who she was as an independent person as like an entity on her own she's always defined herself in relation to the yeah. men around her really exactly. and they're so, gone now and right. they're gone now yeah. so She's got He's a, real gone. Yeah. yeah no. Gone girl. Oh, uh. So she's now getting an opportunity to find her way as like an independent person. It's amazing. So empowering. So excited. now moving in. Oh. Okay. Got it. So now moving into season two, you know, there's a lot of pressure when you start a second season of a show as opposed to starting off. You kind of are more in your own path now. Mm -hmm. um, my question is, what was something that you were, that you saw as a challenge and then something that you were so excited for the fans to get to now that you're expanding more into the story? Into season two? Yeah. I was definitely really intimidated by where, where we were going to have to go with her at first, especially talking to Karina and Chris, I was like, oh, okay. So it's not just, you know, what where we find her is bad, and then the bottom drops out even further, and so even more she has. And I knew, you know, I feel a tremendous responsibility to honor the character and to give, you know, the writers and everything the, what they want to see that get to that, deliver, and that's hard. But I'm so excited for what's on the other side of that because it's her rebuilding and getting stronger and we see like badass Isabel just transforming into something else. So I know that fans are going to love that. We really, I I feel so grateful to work with Lily and like, I, I'm blowing smoke up your ass a little bit, but like, I... Go ahead. I called. We had a, we had an idea for a storyline that is tough mm -hmm. and was scary for me, um, and important to me. And I called Lily to see what she thought and if she felt like we could do it. And we were both very scared. I think and I initially was it. like, I don't think yeah, I can do it. And yeah. then I called you back and was like, I guess we probably have to. Yeah, do we it. have to do it. And um, well, you know, you'll see when it comes. But um, it was something that was that mattered to me so much that I could only. Have Lily Coles do this thing. So, thank you so much. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.